We'll start with Mike Walters. Mikel, good evening. Have you ever made a substitution which has yielded dividends faster than that one? I don't think so. And um, I'm so happy in particular for Callum. He totally deserved it. It was a great um, moment because he helped us to win the game. And um, someone that um, deserves the best because who he is as a person and, and how he behaves as a, as a professional. Thank you. James? Hi, Mikel. Obviously, Ben limped out of that game. What's the latest on that injury? Do you think it will be one that will rule him out for Saturday? No, there is a bug going on. Uh, we lost Pablo today as well, that he wasn't feeling great. And, uh, and Ben had it as well for the last day or two. And uh, yeah, he wasn't feeling great. So we decided to, to take him off. Thank you. Oh. Hi, Mikel. Um, Considering the competition and you've got a chance of getting to Wembley, was it a gamble to make so many changes to your team tonight? I don't know. It was a decision. Um, I can't keep demanding players um, to do what they do every single day and to keep believing that they have a chance to get in the team. And uh, I can't ask them to raise the level so they'll go better. And, uh, and trust them. And, and um, I was calm because I know that they can do it. Obviously, it was against that tough opponent that they play with some of the staff they use in the week. Uh, hi, Michael. Just a quick one on Eddie and Ketia. We all know his contract situation is a bit complicated and it's running out. Does tonight show what he can still offer and maybe give you an idea of what you can do with him going forward? I have no doubt what he can offer. Um, whatever you throw at him, um, he wants more. He demands himself more. And another one that I'm delighted um, to see the performance I have to score the goal and help the team. Because he totally deserves it. But uh, he's got a lot of the players as well that they play in that position. And he's got a personal situation. But I try to leave that aside and, um, and try to give it what he totally deserves. Are there any updates on the contract situation that you're aware of? No. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Simon? Hi, Mikel. Um, I just wanted to ask you what the situation is with Kieran. Do you think he's going to be all right for Leicester? And also, is, is Martin carrying an injury as well? Is that why he wasn't involved tonight? Yeah, they were both out um, with two different injuries. Um, they tried yesterday, but um, they didn't feel great. They wanted to be involved, but um, they weren't good enough to, to be selected today and hopefully in the next few days um, they can feel better and, and they can be available for less. And just one on, on Ainsley, mate and Niles, obviously he's, he's struggled for minutes this season. How impressed were you in, with him in the middle of the park? Well, we have used him a lot. Uh, in different moments, uh, he's played minutes and he can cover different positions. That's the, <clears throat> the big bonus that Ainsley has. And again, he kept trying and and trying to improve every single day. And today, I think he had a really good performance. Yeah, thanks, Mark. Yeah. No. Hi, Mikko. Just quickly go back to Eddie, if that's okay. Obviously, he had a move breakdown over the summer. He struggled for minutes. Do you envisage that he will move on at the end of the season? Because obviously, he can't be happy only playing twice at this stage of the season. Yes, but uh, we had a situation in the summer um, that we tried to resolve and, and we couldn't either way. And um, that's the contract situation. It's more and more common in football for um, for where we are coming from with COVID and, and a lot of the issues that uh, that we have to resolve. Um, I have full belief that he is going to be a top, top player and hopefully an awesome. Would he go with your blessing, given that he's, he's not played very much? Would you would you let him go if, if he came to you and asked you to go? So happy to have him in the team, and he's our player, and I consider him and regard him really highly. And um, from my side, I want him to stay. Hi, Mikhail. Hi. Hi. Um, you made nine changes to the team that played Aston Villa on Friday night, but you retained two star performers, Emma smith -Rowe and Ben White. What was the thinking behind that? 
Well, the thinking was uh, it was more a reacting situation. Uh, Martin was going to start the game and uh, he was injured, so we had to pick somebody to play midfield. And the other one was Pablo. Pablo was going to start the game as well, and he couldn't start because uh, he had a bug this morning and he wasn't feeling good. So we had to play Ben. Thank you, Kaya. Uh, hi, Mikel. I just wanted to ask the question about Flo Balogun. Uh, he wasn't involved again tonight. Um, if he continues to not get too many first team minutes, will you look to send him on loan in January? We will see what happens. Um, again, with Flo, we have a, a really clear project. Um, the steps that he's making, they are the right steps. And don't forget, he's still really, really young. He hasn't played any professional football almost any professional football and you need to go through every phase and, and don't try to bend faces where, when you are not ready to do so. And um, again, I'm really happy with him. He's doing the right progress and in December, we will see where we are and what's the best uh, for him as well. Nick, uh, also you include uh, Salah Dean on the bench tonight. I just wanted to, to get a word on the decision behind that and maybe what he's done to get in that position. Rewarding for what he does every day in training, in the games that he's playing, for his attitude and the quality he has. He totally deserves to be with us. Nick. Hi, Mikhail. Um, obviously, getting to the quarterfinal means that you've got another game in, in this competition and you've got another chance to give people minutes and to keep people taking over. Is it is it more important even than usual this year to progress in this competition and have a chance to give those minutes to players when you haven't got European games and stuff like that? Yeah, well, he obviously, he opens up more space to give opportunities to people. We have trophies that we want to conquer, and, and that's the whole point of it. But, um, it's great to see the players that we didn't have a lot of opportunities to, to towards them, the way they play today, the way they competed, and, and the way they won the game against a, a really good side. And, and the, the, the celebration that we saw when Callum scored, was that simply an outpouring of you know joy that he scored it in particular, or was, was there any, anything else behind that? Because everyone seemed particularly involved on, on the touchline. I think there is something else there. Um, you see the reaction of his teammates, which they spend time with him every single day. Um, I think it was genuine emotion for him uh, because it's been tough for him. And um, and they like him as a person and uh, mm -hmm. and they know that it was an important moment for him. Thank you. Finally, Art. Hi, Mikhail. Just on that celebration, I saw on the replay that I think Callum went straight for Nicholas Jorga, the set-piece coach. Was that, I mean, did that play any part in that as well? Because I know... Uh, you guys scored a corner again against... Uh, Bro, Aston there, uh, there were three different coaches that told him, I think, and a player that told him that he was going to score. And uh, probably it was on his ear, so it was a way to say thank you. Well done. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, guys.